So I'm outside my girlfriend's house and there's a big festival thingy going on that's attracting a lot of families here. And when you see families and kids, you often see a lot of crying, a lot of uh, screaming, you know, because kids, uh, they want to get things, they don't know how to get them, so, so they just go, you know, bah, bah, like just go crazy. And the parents don't know how to deal with it either. And uh, this actually brings me to a topic uh, that I've been thinking of discussing for a couple of days now. And that, that topic is the point where you don't need pain and negativity anymore to guide you to where you need to go in life. So most people, uh, including me, up until maybe the last eight months, uh, are run by uh, negativity. Now what does that mean, being run by negativity? What it means is when everything is good, you're happy, you're calm, your life is great, you know, you don't think about it. But in order to know what to do in your life, you rely on feeling bad. So for example, there's a job that you're in that you don't like, but you're not gonna quit it. You're only gonna quit it when you feel bad enough that you don't have a choice because you feel so bad you have to, to, to quit you know the pain of staying is too too big uh, compared to the uh, the pain of uh, staying basically um, so that happened to me in example for example uh, relationships like oh relationship is too painful now that means I have to leave uh, again the kids crying just like I told you about um, it happened to me uh, in business, you know, oh, now uh, this business makes me, makes me uh, feel bad. So I have to change it, I have to do something about it. And you probably recognize in your life, maybe even this, you know, you hear the baby, you're like, oh, this makes me feel bad. This means I have to close the video, <laughs> something like that. Don't close the video. <laughs> so <clears throat> eventually, uh, if you're mature enough, uh, spiritually and get to a place where you instead of uh, being in reaction to things you learn to uh, not offer resistance so for example if something makes you feel angry you realize the anger is within you you just feel the anger you let it go and then the anger disappears and so does the source of the anger uh, then you, you, you should ask, start asking yourself like hey if I can feel peace like when my life is good and when my life is not you know externally good how how will I be motivated to to do stuff and you realize that you can take action you can actually do things out of uh, a decision out of common sense so for example uh, Eckhart Tolle the spiritual teacher gives a really really good example about uh, fire like hey if you were completely present to the moment and you just felt peace and no more fear, what would, what would stop you from putting your hand in the fire? And to that he answers like, you know, just a bit of common sense. You don't need fear to know that you shouldn't put your hand there. So, so in the same sense, uh, when you're in a relationship and you can rise above uh, negativity, rise above resistance or craving even, uh, which is basically the opposite side of resistance, uh, when you let go of all that, you basically uh, uh, act out of uh, intuition and common sense, like what you know is right at that moment. Uh, sometimes you even uh, have something that's bad, like maybe a relationship that's not good, but it's not causing you pain uh, because you are at peace. And then you just choose to stay there. And it's actually, people would think that is irrational, like, hey, how could you stay in there? But you actually stay out of like, oh, I just... I know it's a bad relationship, but I just don't feel the need to leave because I don't feel... I just... something tells me like, hey, stay there. Again, you're not in reaction, you're acting from your own um, agency. So that's really what transcending uh, pain and pleasure is all about. Uh, transcending suffering, essentially. Uh, it's about being able to stay with what is right now at this moment, not offer resistance to it and then uh, taking intuitive action or not you know from that place um, and once you reach it it's a beautiful thing because 
your life could be amazing and you're not gonna get you know up to cloud nine in terms of up to cloud nine in terms of uh, you know like how much it makes you feel good because you're not dependent on it which means that when you lose it or when it stops making you making you feel good you're not gonna like crash but the same is when your life is not that good you just you feel a deep sense of peace coming and then with that peace you basically are not in a rush to get anywhere but you can move anywhere you want so when you're in that relationship uh, in that business you are the chooser you're not in reaction let me move here you're not in reaction uh, oh, problem solved you're not in reaction um, based on uh, how you feel or the situation you act out of your own agency um, if this is a topic that really interests you you know finding that deep peace which again it does not uh, go against success at all it's actually the only way to sustain success because again if you're down here and you resist it uh, it's more most, most likely that the resistance just fuels you staying there because it's part of your identity and if you're up here and again you're in the egoic state of mind where you're all based in thoughts there's no space around them uh, it's also bad because if you lose it or if you're about to lose it it's threatened uh, you're gonna go crazy basically you're just you're gonna sabotage it you're gonna overwork yourself whatever it is you will not be uh, ret 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 you know if you look back you won't be happy that you did it so peace is always like the the best solution to your situation uh, in terms of uh, how much you enjoy life and in terms of the outcome you're gonna get so again if you're interested in this let me know uh, either shoot me an email comment uh, you know whichever way you feel like communicating uh, and I'll be happy to go deeper into it um, I'm also really into developing right now my business things uh, I'm working on a course that is almost finished and uh, tons of really awesome stuff. Everything is going according to plan, according to schedule. Uh, so I do see myself uh, being completely reliant on uh, passive sales, just basically just making videos like I used to, but instead of coaching, uh, just passively selling uh, products and my course uh, and making just about the same income, just without the physical work and then offering coaching to only a select few uh, customers. So if you got this far through the video, just write in the, in the comment like, I love your video or something, so I know you got here. And um, uh, again, I, I do wanna get to three videos a day, at least, uh, because I feel like I want this to be less of me just giving a daily tip and more like you being part of my life. You know, just as Gary Vaynerchuk says, so it's like a thing, don't create content, like document. Um, yeah, and that's it. So um, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.